Hi guys, Lord of Pontel here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today I'm just doing a short video on a couple of new events that have popped up uh, in the last 24 hours. So if we click on the events tab in our main castle screen, you're going to see here at the top we've got Royal Festival, collect knights, knight badge for reward. So you might have seen after the last major update, um, we were able to collect knight badges for a couple of days and everyone was wondering what they were for and I think now we're going to get our answer. Looks like this is a really limited um, event. It already ends in three days, 11 hours, 58 minutes. So let's have a click and have a look. So event introduction, chance to earn knight's badge, a valuable badge that can be collected and exchanged for royal chest. Don't use them just yet. And then Royal Chest is an egg chest. So summer's here and it's time to celebrate. Event time, June the 12th reset to June the 17th reset. So they've got that wrong for a start because it's the 1st of, uh, it, well, it's currently the 1st of August. But I'm guessing it is going to be a five, six day event. Uh, during the event, gather resources and defeat monsters on the world map to obtain knight's badges. Don't use them just yet. Collect enough and exchange for royal chest. Note, daily obtain cap for knight's badges 100, which we already knew before. And then in the starting scene section, we've also had this, which is construction plans for Temple of Knights. Collect the Temple of Knights fragments to unlock rare decks. Decals. So it begins in four days, 11 hours, 58 minutes. And so far what they're saying about this is during the event, complete missions to obtain fragments. Each card flip yields a reward. Flip all cards to obtain the decoration item. So I'm guessing there'll be a certain amount of cards um, per decoration item. And missions reset daily at zero game time so that looks like there's going to be a few different uh, decorations that we can get either for castle skins or uh, maybe the troop marching or something for inside a decoration for inside the castle we'll just have to wait and see um, for when that comes along I am really intrigued about these uh, about these royal chests I think I'm going to go ahead and actually exchange some knight badges and let's so I do have, I already had 200 from um, just after the last update on the game. And then I've obtained another 19. And you need, when you exchange. So Master, do you want to use Knight Badges? Or you can exchange 10 for a Royal Chest. So I can get 21 Royal Chest. So I'm, I am going to just, let's, let's just exchange one. And let's see what we get. So Royal Chest use. Okay, so I've got from one chest, I've got two lots of 24,000 iron. Got 100,000 gold in the form of four times 25,000. 10 five minute research speed ups, 50 courage medals, always good. Uh, a few Dragonite fragments. Meh. And one advanced recruitment ticket, and then I've got 16 times one VIP points, so 1,600 VIP points, and that's just for one rewards chest. So that's 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 a pretty good bounty from from one, I guess. And currently, I could still get another 20 of those. Um, so if the event's on for another three or four days, I'm going to be able to collect a few few more hundred. Knight's badges and, and plenty of chests, but it's just this old adage like, are these knight badges actually supposed to be used for now, or could they, they potentially have another use down the road? We're not, no one's actually that sure, and um, not a lot of people have been talking about this event, to be honest. We're all um, in 55, we're already focused on, on Eden. While I'm chatting with you, I just wanted to show you an update following my recruit, SX recruitment video earlier in the week. I did a few more, I spent 20 more tickets on Thursday and I managed to bag myself a duplicate for Avalanche. So that was my seventh SX hero from the tickets this week. 
I've already unlocked Avalanche's sixth skill, and that is the skill that gives the extra 300 increased demolition power, which is really useful for taking tiles. That's going to be really useful for um, taking tiles with cavalry in Eden or attacking um, gates and towns as well, where you need high demolition power so you can um, capture the gate or the town within the 30 minute time limit before uh, the defense guardian resets i haven't used a lot of wisdom medals on him yet i've just maxed skills one and six and just unlocked the other four skills two to five um we can't we haven't got fragments um for heroes in the bar for the sx heroes yet i'm guessing that will come in get uploaded next week um, and then i'll be saving fragments for avalanche for sure because i really want to um unlock his eighth skill next and Maxim, of course. As you might have seen in the video, I had three duplicates of Army Breaker as well. And so I have unlocked seven of his skills and um, maxed all of those. So again, I'm just waiting for him, um, just hoping to get him one more time in this season so that then he'll be maxed. And he's gone straight into my class legion in the middle row. So I've now got Warlord, Army Breaker, Living Saint. Um, we've got a Warlord Heroes return recruitment coming soon as well. And I do need still to finish his seventh skill as well. Uh, just not getting any fragments for him in the bar. Doing the Heroes return event is going to be what I'm going to focus on to hopefully get him again. Um, and if I can max him, that would be great because he's a really good front row hero for Cav. So that was just a quick update on, on the recruitment side of things as well, guys. Uh, I hope you've liked this quick video today just on that Royal event. Um, I think potentially it could be what we've got instead of an anniversary event. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure the anniversary event started in August last year. Um, it'd be, I, I mean, it was a great event where you, you, you could obtain so many things like, you know, hero fragments or super tickets orange gear boxes it was and i know a lot of people that did really really well from the anniversary event and personally for me it helped me develop my castle a lot quicker at that time whether the developers are going to be quite so generous this year i don't know maybe this royal event is just what we're getting for the second anniversary um if we don't see anything next week i think then that's probably is what we're going to be getting just this so a little bit disappointing for us all uh, those of us that are in the older states and got to take advantage of the anniversary event last year but that's just one of those things i guess and um we'll just have to crack on with it so that's everything for this video guys as i say just a quick video uh thank you very much for all the support on the channel this week uh it just goes from strength to strength i'm really pleased thank you so much for all your um support with it please do continue to subscribe ring that bell like comment and of course share my channel uh, in game or you know via line whatsapp whatever you guys use to communicate um, and that'll be great so thanks very much and i'll see you soon